Hello, my name is Ivy Bailon and I'm gonna be representing a bike or bicycle. A bicycle is a two-wheeled vehicle that has seats and steering handle. It can be moved by propelling your feet on the pedals, also called a bike, push bike, or cycle, or a velocipede. Next is the history of the bicycle. The earliest bicycle was introduced in the 19th century and the original design stayed almost the same as the modern bicycle we know now. The earliest predecessor of the bicycle was a contraption made in the early 1410, invention of a man named Giovanni Fontana. It had four wheels and some ropes and gears that held them together. What is biking? Biking is an activity that involves a bicycle. You can ride the bike on a road, bike path, a mountain trail, or a rough terrain. Some use the term biking to refer specifically to a mountain biking context, and it is often associated with a riding a heavy-duty bicycle on a rougher terrain. Mountain biking usually takes place on the mountain trails, dirt roads, or parks. It first originated as a sport in California, United States. The first bikers who engaged in the sports used a type of bike called cruiser bicycles. This single-speed bicycle comes with a balloon tires and upright seating posture. It has fewer gears, which make it the perfect bike when you want to simply enjoy riding without thinking about the gears to control. Nowadays, People who engage in mountain biking and off-the-road biking use mountain bikes. Let's move forward to the four basic skills in biking. Number one, braking. At first, this seems a little obvious but there is far more to braking than simply pulling on the lever. Understanding how the brakes work will make you more confident when descending, cornering, or riding in a group. Your front brake is more effective than your rear and is the stopping brake. Your rear brake will slow the bike down and should be feathered and you should apply it gradually. For more effective braking, rearrange your body to the back end of your bike slightly off the rear of your saddle so there is no chance of flying over the handlebars when the front brake is applied. Number 2 observing the road ahead these skills will help you when it comes to cornering scan the road ahead of you and look for things that may pose a danger this could be potholes oil loose surfaces or the action of the other people on the road the more you cycle the more you will begin to learn and predict what other road users may do and other effects the sort of surface you are and may have on your cycling mastering this will make your ride safer number three riding out of the saddle put your hands on the hoods or drops and then lift yourself off the saddle use your arms to then lever the bike from one side to other. Climbing is one of the joys of cycling and riding out of the saddle helps you to get maximum power when climbing or sprinting for that matter. This is because you are able to use your body weight rather than just your leg muscles. To drive the pedals, you will be putting more power down so get into a higher gear beforehand to prevent you from spinning out this tends to happen more in sprinting than climbing and lastly number four riding one-handed riding one-handed is a valuable skill especially when it comes to drinking on the go and giving hand signals practice in a quiet piece of the road Get up to speed and slowly begin to take your hand off your handlebars. As you grow in confidence, gradually leave your hand off the bars for longer amounts of time. Next, with your eyes fixed on the road ahead, 
Reach down and remove your bottle from its cage and then bring it up to your face to drink. Keep your eyes ahead when reaching back down to put the bottle back into the cage. This will also help you with the next couple of skills. To conclude, we prepared a short video to watch how to ride a bike. Let's start right at the beginning, setting off for the very first time. We're gonna assume your bike is set up to your size and everything is in good working order. What you wanna do then is stand your bike simply 30 centimeters away from the curb. Set your cranks reasonably level. The three o'clock position for your favored leg is what we recommend, just like this. Then, whilst holding the bars and saddle, lean the bike towards you, remove your hand from the saddle and swing your leg over. Now, grabbing both brakes, steady your weight over the bike, place your best foot on the forward pedal, shift your backside onto the saddle, look over your shoulder to check for traffic. You're now ready to set off, so push down on your forward leg and maintain a relaxed balance over the bike. Hello, my name is John Lowell A. Loreno, so I'm going to be presenting table tennis. Table tennis is a very popular recreational and competitive team game played by either individuals or pairs. The game requires a purpose-built table and net, which players aiming to hit the ball continuously over the net and into their opponent's side of table to force their opponent to either not return the ball back over the net or to land the ball of the table. It is widely acknowledged that the table tennis is most popular racket sport and the game can be so fast that the ball can travel as fast as 100 mph. Let's move forward to the history of table tennis. The origins of table tennis are unclear. However, it is believed that it was first played in England in late 19th century as indoor alternative to tennis and badminton. Archives from 1880s explain that it, it was played by the upper classes on their dining room tables and other players used books or cigar box lids as bats and golf balls or rounded, or rounded campaign corks for balls. Next is the six basic skills in playing table tennis. Number one, the grip. Arguably, arguably the most foundational of all skills, how you grip your paddle can significantly influence your gameplay. Second is the serve. A game of table tennis begins with a serve and having a strong unpredictable serve can be considered an advantage. Three, the forehand and backhand drives. Drives dri drive forms the core of table tennis rallies are essentials for maintaining an offensive stance in the game. Number 4 is the spin. Introdu introducing spin to the ball can make your shots unpredictable and challenging to return. 5 is blocking and counter diving. Ba basic skills and techniques in table tennis that focus on defense are just vital as offensive tactics. They allow a player to not only return aggressive shots but also transition seamlessly from 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 defense to offense. A footwork. Um, proper footwork ensures you're always in the right position to make your next shot. Next is I'm going to discuss some basic rules in playing table tennis. Number one, no hands on the table. Believe it or not, leaning your hands on the table is not allowed in the sport, so you should never be touch the table with your hands. If you if you do so, you will lose a point. Number two is when serving, the ball must be thrown 15 millimeters. Um, another rule which you may not knew about the game is that the ball must be thrown at least 15 millimeters in height while serving. Uh, obviously, this kind of toss is a good habit, and it and what it's meant is that you must throw it at least. 15 15 millimeters into the air from the flat palm of your hand before it's being hit. <clears throat> Number three, if the ball hits on a net service, you should serve again. Um, sometimes you when, when you serve the ball in the table tennis, it hits the net and and it's either falls in your part of the opponent parts of the table. If this happens, you should know that the official rule is to reserve and replay the serve. There is no actual limit to how many nets 
a player can have on first serve but the general rule sticks to three in total um, number four the ball must be held in a flat palm above the table when preparing to serve you need to hold the ball flat in the palm of your hand and above the table number five rubber collars last but not least is the is the rule of rubber and its color if you ever held a table tennis paddle you probably know that one of the side has black rubber black rubber and the other has a red one ping pong also called table tennis is a fun two-player game where players try to score more points than their opponent by hitting a ping pong ball to their opponent's side of the table to play start by choosing a player to serve first on a player's serve they lob the ball straight up into the air and strike it to the other side of the table with their paddle. As long as the ball lands anywhere on their opponent's side of the table, the serve is legal. The other player must then hit the ball back to the other side of the table. Players continue to hit the ball back and forth until it either misses the table, bounces twice on one side, bounces once but isn't returned by the player on that side, or if it hits the net. One point is awarded to whichever player didn't cause the foul. The serve alternates every two points. Whoever gets to 11 points first wins that round. Then a new round starts. The player who wins three out of five rounds wins the game.